All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and if you're watching on the replay, you may want to skip about a minute or two in to skip the intro. But for everybody else, leave a quick comment down below saying hashtag Team Replay. Okay? And for everybody else, comment hashtag Team Live. What is going on, everybody? All right, 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 all right. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one, the only, paid to drive. And you are all here on episode two of the PTD Power Half Hour. That's right, folks. We are going to talk. We are going to vent about all sorts of stuff. And uh, you're not going to want to miss it. That's for sure. Let's do some quick shout-outs. We got Robert Sielski, R. Feinberg, Richard Feinberg, Duncan Conley, Jedi M. What's up, everybody? And ladies and gentlemen, if you are a delivery driver for Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, Caviar, Instacart, Amazon Flex, D-Live, E24, Seamless, or any of the others, you should absolutely, positively be subscribed to this channel with the post notification bell turned on. Exactly, Heather exactly which is why you're here i knew the notifications were going to fail me which is why we only have nine people watching right now but hopefully everybody checks in pretty soon <laughs> we'll see what happens but we'll see what happens right now oh wait i think we might have notifications did anybody get the notifications comment 333 if you got the notifications 444 if you didn't oh i think it's working yes everybody welcome to the ptd power half hour everybody Whoa, we got the parade flying in, guys. And today we are going for 125 thumbs up on this video. We've got a good one for you, so I'm so glad that the notification system's actually working. Smash that like like you never have before. Comment 111 if you smash the like, 222 if you haven't yet. What's up, Derek Biddle and Lynetta Oliver and Shelly Champlin and Carlos and Beauty and the Vape and all, our, all of our friends. Keep smashing that like, guys. We've got 50 people here. You guys tonight are going to find out the truth about DoorDash from an ex-employee. That's right, guys. That's right. I hope not, Robert. I hope not. All right, all right, all right. What is going on, everybody? If you are a delivery driver for Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, Caviar, Instacart, Amazon Flex, D-Live, E24, Seamless, or any of the others, you should absolutely positively be subscribed to this channel with that post notification bell turned on. Comment 777 in the chat right now if you are subscribed to this channel with the post notification bell turned on. Comment 888 if you are not yet. But it's okay, there's still time to hit that red subscribe button down below. And guys and girls and everybody out there, how many of you are subscribed to my second channel, the Pay to Drive Vlogs, aka the PTD Vlogs? A quick YouTube search will help you out with that or the link in the description. Kindly comment 999 in the chat if you are subscribed there already. Comment 10, 10, 10 if you're not yet. We're trying to get another 20 or 30 of you guys over there today. So we're going to give it another 30 seconds, guys, and I have a very special treat for you. Okay? <laughs> Jedi says, I think we already know the truth, but not today. What's up, Sean Dopinier and Ryan Alter? What's going on, Ryan? I got to give you your moderator privileges from the vlog. By the way, guys... If you guys hang out on the vlog, you get moderator privileges a little quicker. Just saying. I'm just saying. All right. If you guys are ready, comment 333, and let's jump on into this. So what I'm going to play for you is a recording from a real DoorDash ex-employee. All right. His name is Alan Christensen, and he posted this on my Facebook group or our Facebook group on the delivery driver lounge. He says, Hey Pete. So I've, I've seen multiple DoorDash order screenshots. One specific I posted here. That's been viral as hell. I'm hoping to get some results as I've seen initial screenshots here as well. I think we'd all like to see if it's just base quoted pay or base quoted plus extra after completion of the delivery, like the old model they still have out on this subject. I watched the half hour video. Wade had stated that the biggest problem with the new pay model is that it puts our wages in the sole discretion of the customer's tip. This is exactly how the fair pay, <laughs> and he says, uh -huh, commie pay model works. 
and you'd figure that they'd have learned something. DoorDash paid as little as possible for orders, $1, while subsidizing our wages uh, with customers' tips, which was ruled unlawful. So basically what I'm getting out of this is that they are doing the exact same thing they're currently doing, while separating pay and tips like a regular delivery job to look like it's better in the legal department. The only difference seems to be good intentions, and he calls BS on that, of DoorDash. The public eye is on them now. You'd think again, Tony Shu learned something, but it would seem he's pulling almost the exact same BS under a disguised system. I've put up a post requesting before and after, and after ordered screenshots from those in the Texas market and anywhere else that may have the model to see if anyone could provide solid clarity on exactly what this new model is supposed to really be. I hope we get them in. We'd like to figure it out. Okay? So, I had Alan do a video, uh, not a video, a voice recording. It's about 10 minutes long. Uh, he sent it to me through Facebook Messenger. So, I'm going to play it, and then we're going to discuss it after. Um, I'm hoping it plays all the way through, uh, and that's basically it. So, if you guys are ready, comment 333. And that's right. Uh, I need moderator privileges. You mentioned last night, but never gave it. Just like the comment. <laughs> Hey, don't compare me to them, Beauty and the Vape. But yes, everyone welcome Beauty and the Vape to the PTD Mod Squad. The truth will set you free. DoorDash crashes and an old mother cries. All right, guys, before we play this, comment 111 if you have smashed that like down below. Comment 222 if you haven't yet. Let's jump into this, guys. Let's jump on in. Let's see if we can get 100 likes right now real quick. I know I sound like a broken record. But anyway, guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy this as we listen to an ex-employee, Mr. Alan Christensen, laying down the law about how things really go. So let me pull that up right now for all of you fine people. Smash that like. Make sure you're subscribed, everybody. And here we go hey everybody dashers and pete thank you very much for having me on the uh, video here my name is alan christensen for those of you that don't know um i've been working for doordash for three years with over five thousand deliveries accomplished in that time i have watched the pay go from seven dollars per delivery plus customer tips to 650 to six dollars and then finally the fair pay system when the fair pay was introduced i was working at the golden valley office in minneapolis and i was in direct connection with management around the country via bamboo hr um, and i was in contact with the then midwest ceo victor Shaw. you can look him up on google or wherever you can find him they, i think he's since moved on but I had talked with him about specific issues at that time uh, on pay, distances traveled, uh, every factor I could think of. I was responsible for shrinking the delivery zones here in Minnesota, which felt kind of cool. Uh, and then due to extenuating circumstances surrounding that job in that office as working from August 2017 to 2000 or January 2018, I believe. Um, and when the fair pay system was introduced, I remember management telling me about it right on the bamboo uh, chat. We had many meetings with other uh, what they called us as DTBs. I forget what the acronym stands for, but we were called DTBs, and they told us about fair pay. I specifically told them when they first introduced it, I was pissed. I saw it and I said, this is not okay. The dashers are already suffering. You've already cut pay multiple times and this is unacceptable. This seems illegal. And as it's proved lately, it seems like that's the way it's going. Um, I'd like to refer to the post that I had earlier today that Pete wanted me to share. So bear with me for a second while I pull that up. Uh, let's see. All right. 
So I've seen multiple DoorDash order screenshots. One specific I posted here, and it's been viral. It's that one where the person traveled 11.1 miles for $2. Uh, and I'm hoping to get some results as I've seen initial screenshots here. Or, yeah, seen initial screenshots here as well. I think we'd all like to see if it's just base quoted pay or base quoted plus extra pay after completion of delivery, like the old model they still have out uh, till the end of the month. On the subject, I watched the half hour video Pete had posted. Wade in that video had stated the biggest problem with the new pay model is that it puts our wages at the sole discretion of the customer's tip. This is exactly how the fair pay model works, and you'd figure they'd have learned something. DoorDash is paid as little as possible for orders, you know, $1, while subsidizing our wages with customer tips, which I believe was ruled unlawful. So what I'm getting out of this is with this new system, uh, given what I've seen, they're doing the exact same thing they're currently doing. They're putting it under the guise of separating pay and tips, like a regular delivery job, to look like it's better in the legal department. The only difference seems to be the, and I'll put this in quotations, good intentions of DoorDash and Tony Zhu. The public eye is on them now, and you'd think, again, Tony Zhu learned something, but it would seem he's pulling almost the same exact crap under a disguised system. I put up a post requesting before and after order screenshots, actually a few, uh, from those in the Texas market and anywhere else that may have the beta testing model to see if anyone can provide solid clarity on exactly what this new model is supposed to really be. And I hope we get them in. We'd all like to figure it out. I'll, I've gotten a few already, and I have since posted more um, statuses on the delivery driver page and the best way to prove what is going on here we are dashers united i want to stress that we are all here for a specific purpose and it's discussion it's it's trying to figure out what is going on trying to work with each other to create a better job environment for us we are classified as contractors Yet we are still under the employer identification number of DoorDash. We are still under their guidelines and their rules for how we do the job. I will not say that this is illegal. I just want to state these facts. The fact of the matter is with such low payouts with this system and how they have continuously set it up to cut more and more and more while putting more and more in DoorDash's pocket and Tony Zhu's pocket, um, we're really seeing some pretty disastrous consequences here. And what this tells me is everything they advertise is just a blatant smokescreen. Uh, they talk about flexibility. And if you have to work 80 hours a week to make ends meet and actually get paid what you're supposed to get paid with a job like this, your schedule isn't flexible. They've been caught lying to customers. We've seen everything all over the news on what's been going on. They've proven time and time again what they're really after, and it needs to stop. It absolutely needs to stop, and we need to be proactive in taking care of this. What you can do to voice, have your voice out there is provide before and after screenshots of your deliveries, your quoted pay versus what you made with the customer tip. Provide your... Uh, screenshots of your daily income with your hours worked calculate that out and then put your gas expenditures in there um, for each day and it will show you an accurate representation of how you made you can also put in your phone bill and your insurance because they are valuable and essential tools for this job what what everyone needs to see is what the majority of these drivers are actually making here in my market it's really weird it seems like no matter what I average about ten dollars an hour uh, today alone it's been far less because it just there's nothing out here even though the hot zones claim that it's busy 
That's a whole different story. But I want to bring this public. I want to make people aware. And I want to encourage everybody within DoorDash, within Uber Eats, within everywhere in this industry, if you feel like you are being treated unfairly, if you feel like you are not making what you should be making, uh, be loud, be noisy, express it. Throw it out there. That's the only way anybody will be aware. Bring it to local news stations if you need to. Bring it to legislature if you're up to the challenge. That can be daunting to say the very least. But provide all the evidence and you have a much better shot of changing things. And the more people we get in doing this, the better the results will be. Because it will then show a universal... Uh, average of what people are actually making versus what DoorDash says, what these companies say. I don't trust their numbers. I don't know how many people do, but it, it just seems it seems off. I want to point out the average courier makes thirty-two to forty thousand dollars per year because that is what it takes to maintain a vehicle and live a, a decent life, being able to pay your rent pay your bills, pay for your food, pay for all of these things. Myself personally, the most I've made with this company is $24,000. Uh, I'd like to see what other people are making. I, I think we would all like the input. Pete, again, thank you. Um, I've rambled enough for this video. If you need anything else for later times, if anybody wants to talk to me, absolutely. Um, I am here for any info that I can provide that anybody would want to request. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding, your discussion. Everything has been valuable. And we need to remember why we're on that driver page. Remember what you seek. Remember what you want from this. Do not be afraid to stand up for yourself and others within your community. All right. So first and foremost, Alan, thank you very, very much. I don't know if you're in the chat right now, but Alan, thank you very, very, very much uh, for sharing this information. Um, and, and please, everyone in the chat, maybe put some, some clapping hands or something, because that was one heck of a speech, man. I got to tell you. Uh, and what's up to Dustin and Tony, Team LMDU guys? I didn't want to, I didn't want to interrupt the recording. Uh, I wanted it to flow all the way through. Um, now, first and foremost, what do you guys think of what Alan said? Do you guys agree with him or not? If you agree with everything Alan said, please comment three 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 right now. If you disagree with him, comment four four four. And guys, we are crushing it with the likes. We hit over 126 people. We topped that at 126. We're holding our right now, 111, 110. Uh, let's see if we can bring the likes up to well over 100 since we have so many people watching right now. So kindly comment 111. If you smash the like, comment 222 if you haven't yet. And guys, where are my delivery drivers at? If you are a delivery driver for Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, Board, DoorDash, DoorDash, <laughs> DoorDash, Instacart, Amazon Flex, DLive, E24, Seamless, or any of the others, you should absolutely positively be subscribed to this channel. With that post notification bell turned on, comment 777 if you're subscribed here with that post notification bell on. Comment 888 if you are not yet, but it's okay, guys. There is still time. Sm uh, smack that subscribe button down below. Of course, smack the like button. Smack everything. And uh, guys, please make sure you are all subscribed to my second channel, uh, PTD Vlogs, aka the Pay to Drive Vlogs. I really hope all of you guys are on over there. Uh, we have a great time. Comment 999 if you are subscribed there, 10, 10, 10 if you're not yet. Link is in the description down below, or just search for the Pay to Drive Vlogs or PTD Vlogs on the YouTube search. Okay, so going back to what we were talking about here. Um, everything Alan said was spoken from the heart, okay, hands down. And this guy worked for the company he literally worked under their uh you know under their rules and you know whatever you want to call it you know he was an employee of the company before he was actually a driver you know and he does that's right he's a very big asset to the lounge he absolutely is what however you want to look at it you know hey look smakovich legion your leader is here dustin is driving you know so with that being said 
what do you guys think going forward? Do you think that because of these pay model changes, do you think things are going to keep progressively getting worse? Or are they going to get it, you know, or, or is something else going to happen? That's right. Beauty and the vape. Exactly what Beauty and the vape said. That's right. What's up, uh, no, no Cry Baby Ride Share? What's happening? 118 people and only 52 thumbs up. Let's get on it, people. I agree. I agree. So let's see. The chat is rocking and rolling, guys. Keep keep commenting stuff in the chat. Keep commenting down below. If you guys are watching on the replay, comment hashtag Team Replay. If you're watching live, comment hashtag Team Live. And you guys are all here on the PTD Power Half Hour. We've got about nine minutes left of our stream tonight. <clears throat> and if this vi guys, if this video right now is at 53 likes, if this video gets up to 75 thumbs up. In the next nine minutes, I'm going to go for an additional five bonus minutes. We're going to go all the way to 11.35 p.m. Eastern, 8.35 Pacific tonight. Heather, thank you for stopping by. What's up, Matt Cook and Neato209? That's right. Smash the heck out of that like button. Like you never seen. Now you know what I mean. Where's everybody at? Let's see. Sooner or later, they're going to lose too much market share. That will have to change. I agree. Wholeheartedly do I agree with you. Glenn Plunkett, thank you. So do you. You're awesome. Hey, Alan. There you are. Alan, I got to mod you. Everybody, Alan Christensen is in the building. What's up, Alan? So everyone pretty much agrees with what you said here. Everyone say, hey, Alan. <laughs> He made it. He made it, Alan. Uh, we we just listened to your your speech, and uh, and you really uh, people want you to have a YouTube channel, guys. Comment three 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 if you think Alan should start a YouTube channel. Comment four 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 if you think he should not. I think he should. What's up, one PC medic and Carlos Cassiano and Novella Brown and Rolo J twenty? What's going on, guys? We have sixty three thumbs up. Wow, we're getting close, man. If we get another 12 more likes, we're going for an additional five bonus minutes tonight on the PTD Power Half Hour. And make sure you are all subscribed down below. And hey, just out of curiosity, guys, are you all signed up and saving money on the Get Upside Gas app? Comment 333 if you have. Comment 444 if you have not yet. All you have to do is download the Get Upside app. Link is in the description. We also have Dustin is driving in the chat to thank for this. He told me about this about like four or five months ago, and it's fantastic. All right, guys, all you do is pump your gas like you normally would at one of your local stations, print out your receipt, take a picture of the receipt with the Get Up Upside app on your phone, and within 48 hours, they'll send you possibly around 15 to 45 cents a gallon, give or take more or less depending on what market you're in. It is fantastic, guys. I'm telling you. And they'll send you money, real money that you can use within 48 hours. It's fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code every time they get pump gas, you'll get paid. It's called Get Upside. Link is in the description down below. Yeah, Mr. Kulu, talk about Instacart. Go for it, man. Go for it, sir. DFW food delivered. By the way, uh, this is another little feature or a little segment that I'd like to continue doing right here on our channel, right here on Pay to Drive, uh, especially on the PTD Power Half Hour. I would like to give uh, you know drivers a chance to, to to send in a recording and to speak uh, about certain things. Uh, so Alan is basically saying they'll only end up paying decent if law steps in, and and I agree with you, Alan. I think that's a big problem. Uh, Lynetta, door, door crash is sending out emails for you to go to a website and say you are against AB5. Lynetta, if, I, I was checking my email today and I didn't get anything from DoorDash. Can you forward that to me? If anyone has that email about the AB5, uh, email, forward it to paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Paid to drive, S-T-O-R-I-E-S at gmail.com. Guys, we are six likes away from 75 thumbs up and we've got five minutes left to determine if we will go an additional bonus five minutes right here on the PTD Power Half Hour. 
Abe is right. Autonomous vehicles would be the their dream come true. They're planning for it. But think about it. Think of how lazy customers are, Ryan. With autonomous vehicles, you could hardly get people to answer a, a door when you're doing deliveries. Think about that. Are they really all going to come out and come down to an autonomous car? I don't know. No, I'm not in California, so it doesn't affect me directly just yet, but it will if it gets passed, you know, in more. If it goes national, we're going to be in trouble. All you got recently was about the new screen setup. Oh, only if you're in California. Gotcha, Lynetta. But yeah, you know what? Feel free to still forward it to me anyway, if you don't mind. I'd, I'd, like, I'd be interested to read it, perhaps feature it on a video tomorrow. So, you know, I guess we can all discuss it. Would that be cool, Lynette, if you could send that over? I'd appreciate it. What's up, Abe? It's a matter of time. Supply and demand, economics at its worst. Exploiting the labor and endless demand. That's true. Jedi, it will if it passes. Yep. And I'm telling you, if it already passed through the first stage, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Andre Courier uh, posted a really, really good article about it. You should go look him up. Uh, Andre Courier, he's fantastic, and he wrote about how it's literally just waiting for the, the next step in the approval process, and if that happens, uh, then everyone in, in California gets declared as an employee, and I'm, I'm pretty sure New York and Chicago are going to jump all over that, because they love to do that. You did, Sherry. When did you email me? Lately, my email has been blowing up. <laughs> Uh, yesterday okay sherry i gotta check it out i apologize i'm so bad at getting back to people because it gets overwhelming because i literally get pummeled with emails you know i'm telling you it's it's actually really cool and i'm very very grateful for all of you and your support because as soon as something drops like even before i get it in my own personal email from grubhub or doordash or uber or postmates or whatever you guys forward it to me i'll have like 97 emails and i'm like whoa what is that you know it doesn't it, Samakovich Legion? It does sound like coercion. I agree. I am too, Lynetta. Mr. Kulu, I totally think AB5 will happen, unfortunately. It's it's definitely unfortunate. Guys, we have two and a half minutes left, and we have 73 likes. We need two more. Two more, and then we're going for a bonus five minutes. So we're going to stretch this to 11.35 if we get two more likes. Guys, comment 111 if you smash the like button down below. Comment 222 if you haven't yet. And guys, where are my delivery drivers at? If you are a delivery driver for Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, Caviar, Instacart, Amazon Flex, DLive, E24, Seamless, or any of the others, you should absolutely positively be subscribed to this channel with that post notification bell turned on. Comment 777 if you are subscribed to this channel right here. Pay to drive with that post notification bell turned on. Comment 888 if you're not yet. Everyone do that real quick for me. It takes two seconds. And please make sure everybody tonight, as soon as this video ends, go, go on over to my other channel, the second channel that I have, PTD Vlogs, a.k.a. the Pay to Drive Vlogs. We make daily videos on there just like we do on here. And it's a smaller audience. It's more one-on-one. -on -one. I can focus more on the chat. And uh, you guys can actually have more of a conversation with me. So I re really urge all of you guys to go over there. It's called the PTD Vlogs. Search it on YouTube after this or click the link in the description. Comment 999 if you're already subscribed there. 10, 10, 10 if you're not yet. Guys, we did it. We did it. We have 76 likes. We are going for an additional five minutes. Everybody in the chat, comment 5 plus. Everybody comment 5 plus right now. Whoa, deliver with Taz. Are you, are you a mod? You are not. How are you not a mod? But you are now. Good golly, Miss Molly. Everyone, please say thank you to our brand new member of the PTD Mod Squad, Deliver with Taz, for that beautiful, very, 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 very generous donation of that $20. Remember, guys, those super chats are always optional. Always. Always. But, yeah, guys, definitely subscribe to the vlog. Very important. We have a good time over there. And everybody, where if you have a blue wrench next to your name, sound off. I want to hear my PTD Mod Squad sound off in the chat. Hashtag PTD Mod Squad. Comment that down below. You know what, Sean? Hashtag no AB5 in New York. Or what if we just got hashtag say no AB5 or say no to AB5? Basically, AB5 is what's being passed in California. It's in the process of being passed. 
uh, where it is going to declare all independent contractors as um, as employees, as W-2 employees. It's going to really screw things up, guys. They're going to garn not garnish. They're going to um, basically govern and, you know, uh, they're going to basically tell you how many hours you're allowed to work. You're like you're probably not going to be able to work more than 30, 35 hours a week. No problem, Abe. We need five minutes, five minutes, just five minutes. Come on. <laughs> GoDonnie.com, man. You crack me up, man. And I, everybody, what mo what market are are you all in on DoorDash? What state and what market do you primarily work in? Everybody comment that on the count of three. One, two, three. There you go. A lot of people are talking about unionize, un unionizing. Uh, let's see here. Get in Google reviews for businesses in your area to educate people. And don't forget to add screenshots. Let's see if this one sticks or if it magically disappears also. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, general, what magically disappearing? Your, are you talking about your comment? It shouldn't be disappearing because I was able to see it. I don't want anything magically disappearing. Is my computer freezing up? Well, a little bit. My chat is freezing. What's up, Novella? Moving to Palm Harbor, Florida, end of the month. Test the waters down there. It's always good to try out new markets, guys. It really is. So overall, let's let's break this down. Everything that Alan was talking about, and for those of you guys just joining us uh, now, um, Alan really, really, he laid down the law. He's an ex-employee of DoorDash. He worked in one of their offices in Minneapolis dealing with drivers directly. And needless to say, he did not hold back at all. Just to say that. Can you guys still hear me? What's going on here? What is going on here? Just want to make sure everything's still working. So we still got about another two and a half minutes left here on the PTD Power half hour that's right ladies and gentlemen hold on guys i apologize i, I really need a new computer so i'm trying to save up for one <laughs> because this thing is lagging up like crazy my apologies friends and guys we are going for 125 thumbs up on this video so kindly Comment 111 if you smash the like, 222 if you haven't yet. We've already got 78 likes. We are crushing it right now. Man, we got people from all over the place. We got people from Idaho, Hartford, Connecticut, Tucson, Arizona, Dallas, Texas, Georgetown, St. Louis, Missouri, Grass Valley, California. We got people everywhere. Judy Chips is in Lexington, Kentucky, Virginia Beach, Moore, Oklahoma, all thumbs up, you in the app. Come on, man. That's right. DJ Ridge, just say no to AB5. Hashtag Bayshore New York in the house. Hashtag just say no to AB5. AB5, I should say. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I would just like to thank all of you for joining us once again right here on Pay to Drive, but more specifically, on the PTD Power Half Hour at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific. We will be back tomorrow night, Wednesday, September 11th. That's right. It's a very, very unique day, guys. It's been 18 years since 9-11 uh, happened. It's pretty crazy that it's been so long. You know, it just feels like just yesterday. But we are going to be live again tomorrow night. Uh, how many of you guys are going to be here? Comment 333 if you're going to be here tomorrow night for the PTD Power Half Hour at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific. Comment 444 if you're not going to be here. And comment 555 if you're not sure. Absolutely. And I would love to see Alan uh, come back on again at some point. So on that note, everybody, like I said, sign up on Get Upside, as I mentioned earlier, and also join us on our Facebook group, the Delivery Driver Lounge, where this was actually posted. 
We are 2,100 members strong, 2,100 plus members strong, and growing every day. Do a quick Facebook search for Delivery Driver Lounge or click the link in the description down below. And how many of you guys are following me on Instagram? Seriously, everyone go on Instagram tonight. I have the link in the description, at pay to drive Pete. I want all of you guys to follow me. You got 91 people here. I will follow back every single person that follows me tonight at pay to drive Pete. So links in the description or just search on there. Follow me tonight. I will follow you back. So on that note, everybody, smash that like down below. We're going for 125. We're already at 81. And let's see if we can go for 200. I think we can crush it. Comment 111 if you smash the like, 222 if you haven't yet. If you have an Instagram, comment Instagram. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying, Pete, I made it to the end. And hashtag Team Replay if you're watching on the replay. Hashtag Team Live if you're watching live. And on that note, guys, please subscribe down below here. Subscribe to the PTD Vlogs. Link's in the description. And until next time, guys, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And I will see all of you guys next time on What Channel Everybody. Paid to drive. Comment that down below. Write that down. You guys are the best. Seriously, it kills me to have to leave you. But I'll see you all tomorrow night for 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific. Be there or be square, like they used to say in the 50s. For real, guys, you're the best. Alan Christian. Everyone say thank you to Alan Christensen. <sighs> He's the best around. And nobody's gonna take him down. He's the best around. And everybody's gonna take it down. What movie reference is that? Everybody comment it down below. You guys are the best. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Pay to Drive. You guys are the best. Seriously. I'll see you on the flip side, on the blog, everywhere. Smash that like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace. Good night.